Okay, Tuesday morning, we got plenty of loads to do. Got some more of these whalers. 12 of these whalers on right now. These are different size. So these are uh, C15 by 33. So if you remember what I said, that all met last, uh, last video. That's uh, C channel 15 inches wide by 33 pounds per foot. So these are 12 footers. Uh, so that means you got 24 foot in each whaler and we have 12 of them. So look at that sign. Success starts here. Perfect sign to be uh, reading this time in the morning. Success starts here. All right, boys, let's go make some money. Head to Pittsburgh. We got a lot of trips to do on these. All right, guys, it is a Friday morning. Uh, headed over to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Something else going on uh, other than them whalers. So, just to bring you up to speed, Tuesday, <coughs> Tuesday I started hauling them whalers over. That was the first part of this video. And I wasn't able to finish that video because um, the way that I was going to do it is I actually had four days worth of work scheduled of hauling those, you know, just, just going back and forth, deadheaded back over toward Columbus, reloading and going back over to Pittsburgh. Uh, that would have been Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today, Friday. Um, I did haul the first load over. <laughs> Sorry, hauled the first load over and uh, was almost back for the second load and um, they got canceled out. Uh, I guess there's just not enough room over where they are being delivered at. It is pretty tight in there. So I think what they're gonna do is just load them all up on a semi truck when that time comes of them needing those and deliver them. Anyway, that stuff happens uh, out here in the trucking um, more often than you know, or than you would think. And it's something that you have to plan for. Uh, you know, that was gonna be a sweet, sweet week for me uh, if that was, you know, if, if, that, if that proceeded to go according to plan. Um, I, uh, I was planning on staying away from home and just running the crap out of these things. Uh, you know, running my full 11 hour driving and uh, shutting down uh, as needed. But anyway, that happens. Uh, you know, I got, got close back here to pick up on, uh, or on Tuesday after delivering. I was going back for load number two. And I got a phone call about a half hour out stating that they were gonna cancel them out and just take them all over on one semi truck when they were ready for them, which is understandable, it's no problem. Um, but I got a call yesterday to go over here uh, to the same job site, same place where I was running those whalers uh, over in Pittsburgh. I am picking up a mini crane and we are taking it to another job site, which is about 25 miles away uh, from the pickup location over Pittsburgh. You probably wonder, man, they just called you out from Ohio to do that. Yeah, they did. Uh, and the reason being is they need it moved today. Uh, they tried to find in a local, uh, uh, you know, a local carrier over around Pittsburgh towing company or whatever to go load this thing up and move it and uh, they, the earliest that they could get it moved I guess was going to be Monday well they need it moved today so you know I ain't doing anything so why not run over here I mean it all pays the same no matter what I'm just dead head over here uh, we'll load it haul it to 25 miles or so whatever it goes and um, come home finish up the week so, yeah, stick with me here, and uh, we'll get over here and get this thing, uh, get this thing loaded up, and uh, 
be able to show you guys what it is and all that stuff, but it's just a little mini crane. Um, probably looking at like, uh, I don't know, 7,800 pounds maybe, uh, 8,000 pounds, somewhere right around that, around there. I do have the goose neck. Um, probably could have hauled it on my tilt trailer, but my tilt trailer, <clears throat> here's the reason why I brought the goose neck. My tilt trailer tilts at a 15 degree angle. Uh, <clears throat> this thing kind of sits low to the ground, and I was afraid that uh, if I uh, if I brought the tilt, that it would probably drag either the front or the back, and I'd have to be blocking it up to drive it up on the uh, trailer. So I brought the gooseneck because it's not as harsh of an angle. And uh, once it's loaded, it's flat, you know, it's on flat ground, basically, on the deck of the trailer versus setting at a 15 degree angle and <clears throat> holding a brake and uh, trying to set the trailer down. So, yeah, we'll get over here, get this thing, uh, get this thing loaded up and get it delivered. So stay tuned. Okay, I wanted to get out of the uh, construction site there. Um, the camera fell down when we were loading this thing. But this is an IC35 Broderson crane. Weighs about uh, 7,800 pounds. Uh, I was wondering if it was even gonna make it up the ramps, but uh, it made it. We're good there. Uh, she's loaded, so, yep. Um, it's going to be a quick run. We'll get the get this thing delivered. Um, you hear truck drivers sometimes make the comment that, uh, uh, "Boy, I've got more miles in reverse than you do in forward." It's true. I mean, you might you could take at the heart. Um, this is about a mile stretch from way up there. way down there past the bridge um, I just backed backed in there to load this thing up because there's absolutely no room to turn around even in this little pull-off that I'm at now uh, I might be able to spin around right here with the uh, with my tilt deck my bumper pull but this 30-foot gooseneck I'd never be able to spin it right here it'd be way too tight I mean it'd be close but it'd be tight so, yeah, let's get on the road, go get this thing delivered, and head back to the house. Largest crane in the world right there. Stands, I believe, 600 feet in the air. Right here in uh, Pennsylvania. This thing is awesome.
this is how these little things work. You don't have a whole lot of room in here. So, key to start, parking brake, little switch for forward and reverse, parking brake's on, and then there's all your controls for the boom and the hoist and everything right there. So, we are gonna take this machine and we're gonna park it on the left side of uh, that pole right there, in between that pole and the dumpster. So we'll back it in there, take you for a little ride here. Park and brake off, reverse, little throttle. Parking brake, shut her down. And of course, safety first. Gotta take the old seat belt off. Alright, let's get uh let's get this thing strapped up and ready to go. Get this trailer set up. Okay, let's recap for this week. So um Got a call Monday uh, to haul more whalers to a different job site. It was going to be quite a few whalers going um, over to Pennsylvania, over to Pittsburgh. So um, we scheduled it for starting on them on Tuesday. And uh, I was going to run them all week. Um, I was going to stay out away from home and just run back and forth. Uh, utilized my time very well on just running as much of this stuff as I could up until today, which is Friday. Uh, that would have been an awesome week. That would have been great. But uh, things happen out here in the trucking world um, where, and I this is completely understandable. Um, got over there and, uh, you know, we unloaded the first set of whalers, uh, the first 12. And man, there's really no room over there at all. Um, especially to, you know, just have some stock set in there. Uh, it, it could set there for two weeks and it'd just be in a way, um, very understandable on why they canceled out the rest of the loads that I was going to do. So, uh, what they decided to do was just cancel them out, like I said, and they'll probably, when they're ready for them, they'll either start me back up on them or they'll load them up on a semi truck if one's available and, you know, take a big load of them over there. Uh, who knows? Only time will tell. We'll figure it out. Old Faith come in to see us. Um, so, uh, that was Monday. Or, I'm sorry, that was Tuesday. So, the first part of the video was from Tuesday. And I was going to make just one video for the four days. That's why I only had just a partial segment of the whalers. Um... You know, I thought the sign was pretty cool. Success starts here. That's pretty awesome uh, that they, you know, that they have that right there at the facility. Uh, that's, that's a big sign on concrete. But, uh, no, so Wednesday, Thursday, I done uh, a side job. I've been hauling some asphalt millings uh, the past couple days. And uh, yesterday, on Thursday, I ended up getting a call to haul this crane this little baby crane. So, um, you know, it was, it, you know, it was a job. So I'm going to take it. Um, hooked up the gooseneck, ran over there, uh, got the job done, knocked it out for money. Uh, so this week turned out to be an okay week between staying busy or just sitting on my tail. 
So, you know, even with the side jobs. Uh, all that banging around is my woman doing her womanly duty. She's back in the kitchen cooking. Uh, I'll probably get smacked for it, but we toy around like that. So, you know, it's all right. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, hauled the crane. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, something different. That's the first time I've ever had anything like that on my trailer uh, and hauling it. So I've hauled petty bone cranes and stuff like that, the smaller ones, uh, when I was in the construction field running low boy. Uh, but, you know, for being on a gooseneck, that's the first time I've hauled it. Uh, the only cranes that I've actually ran, uh, moved around and stuff, I can't say operated because I'm not a crane operator. Um, as far as running them, I've done, you know, back in the day, I've moved some Grove cranes, uh, uh, the petty bone crane. We had a crane at the pit. It barely moved itself. Uh, it needed the assistance of two loaders to help it track. Um, but this, this little, uh, this little crane today, I thought that was kind of cool, you know, be able to set on it and back it off my trailer and park it was enough for me. I mean, that made my day. So short run, they did call me out, uh, out of Ohio to come over and do that because it had to be moved today and they could not get anybody at all. They couldn't find a hot shot. They couldn't find someone local with a towing company, a land doll or anybody to move that thing. Um, until I think the earliest they said was Monday. So, uh, they called me, I wasn't doing anything. This is for the company that I do quite a bit of work for, and, you know, I'm happy to do it. Um, it all pays the same whether I was loaded going over, dropping, and coming back, or if I deadhead over, move something, you know, a few miles, and then turn around deadhead home. Uh, money's money. So, yeah, that's the deal. The uh, asphalt millings will probably be the next video, and that will happen more than likely Monday. Uh, depends on if I can get a, um, uh, double drum, uh, vibrating roller, uh, rented or not, or find one that somebody has that will let me rent it or borrow it or something. Uh, I got a driveway to do. Uh, I really like to compact them, uh, millings in. It is a side job. So, you know, it's a job that I want to get finished up. I've been on it all summer. We just been doing it as money comes in. So, uh, we're on the back stretch and we're going to knock it out. So, <clears throat> sounds like the woman's making stir fry. That's going to be our dinner. She wants me to eat healthy. So, she's doing her best to make sure that that happens. I'd almost give you a look. You, you could almost see her, but the chair's in the way. And I like my view, but you're not allowed to see it. So, anyway, until next time, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and. Uh, you know, follow me on the YouTube, and uh, we'll get another video posted out. Everybody have a great weekend. We'll catch you next week.